All right, today I'm doing an unboxing on the SanDisk Clipsport MP3 player. Um, it's eight gigs, holds up to 2,000 songs, 25 hours battery life, and has a micro SD slot. Okay, so why did I pick this up? Uh, because actually, I have an old SanDisk. Um, sorry, I have an old Sansa, and uh, the click wheel is actually starting to go off on it. So I picked this up. Uh, give me a minute, and I'll show you. All right, so here is my old Sansa. Um, it still works. Uh, as you can see, I can turn it on, powers up, okay? It still works, but the problem is the, the wheel here is not really registering that well. It'll go up and down, and um, it gets kind of annoying because I still I have to keep using the hold button. Uh, but um, it's... So I'll show you here. So if, if I want to go up on this, and see it goes like... It just travels without me moving it as much. So I don't know if you guys know how if, if you know how to fix it. If you know how to fix it, let me know. I'll probably take it apart and do it. But um, that's the problem with it. And this is why I picked up a new Sansa or a Sandisk uh, because I really enjoy this. This thing's super durable. Like I can drop it and it still works really well. It's not gonna fall apart on me. The back is actually made from metal. Okay. Uh, so let's open this up. Here's the side panel. Here is so it, it supports uh, Microsoft XP uh, Windows XP. Uh, Linux uh, USB 2.0 port supports MP3, WMA, um, the WAV files, FLAC. Um, so here's the back. So it does audio, plays music, FM radio, audiobooks, stopwatch. Um, like I don't know if you're ever going to use that, uh, but uh, micro SD. Um, so DRM free for certain things. Um, so you want to be careful with that. 25 hour battery life. So let's open this up. I got it on sale, by the way, guys. Um, the these were that expensive. It was me. It was actually between this and a Sony. So I haven't decided which one. I decided between this and Sony. This was just cheaper, and the Sony has a proprietary charging cable, so that was really an offsetting for me. So because I'd rather charge it by micro. USB because if I can, then I don't carry so many chargers around with me. So, and because I travel a lot, it's just one of those things that help. Let's open this up. All right, here we go. Whoa, this is there's a lot of stuff in here, and apparently you can still drag and drop on this. Well, this is why I also picked it up. Here, you know, there's a instruction manual right here. And let's get to the meat of it. Okay, this is what you get. And this is this was about fifty dollars, so it actually wasn't that expensive. Um, so this is super tiny. Look at this, and it's super lightweight. Uh, it feels cheap, by the way. Um, but like this feels really durable. This feels like I can step on it and it'll break. Uh, but here it is. These are click buttons. Uh, there's one drawback when I read the reviews on this is that it doesn't have a hold button. Okay, so micro SD is there. Uh, headphone jack and a clip, micro USBs, uh, and volume uh, rocker. Okay, and it also comes with your micro USB cable. Okay, and of course some headphones. Uh, I believe these headphones weren't the greatest, but they are the noise um, passive noise uh, isolating type uh, earbuds. So if you look here. There it is right there. So you can see it has the, but um, I'll do a full review of these okay? uh, in an upcoming video. I'll be comparing it with my old Sansa and I'll show you if it's worth it. If you have any questions, comments, guys, post them below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.